Hey, what's up you guys? Happy Friday. Let's go do some more coding bat today. So come join me on codingbat.com slash Java. And we're gonna be doing some more tough problems from this section here just to kind of stay stay active and stay kind of getting ready. Um, there has been some new information about the, the test dates for your various AP classes. So why don't you go ahead and check your Canvas messages. Um, and if you're not in my class and you're just a, a subscriber and you're in AP Computer Science or any other course, make sure you check in on that information as well. We are still gonna be testing. And uh, yeah, let's not get into that in this video but make sure and check your sources for that. Uh, we did max span. That was nice and challenging. How about fix 3-4? That sounds fun. Uh, let's see. Okay. Return an array that contains exactly the same numbers as the given array, but rearrange so that every 3 is immediately followed by a 4. So far that doesn't sound too bad. Don't move the 3s but every other number may move. Ooh. Okay, the array, okay, let's look here. I'm just gonna look so far. So here's some array, it's almost like this four and this one need to be swapped. That one looks pretty simple. Ooh, but look at this, there's like a four, like this four has to like swap to after. Yeesh. Okay, hmm. All right, so every three has to be followed by a four. It's almost like if you could grab these numbers with your fingers and swap them, it would be pretty easy. So yeah, that one and that four swapped places. All right, so the important thing here is that the threes are always at the same position in the arrays, but the four had to move and these this two had to shuffle over. Ugh. Okay, um, there's probably a million different ways to do this. Let's give this a try though. Um, and I am fully willing to embarrass myself in front of you guys because I know you love me and we can uh, <laughs> we can get over it. I could even delete the video if I have to, if it's, if it's bad enough. This one's challenging, dude. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go with my first instinct here. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna generate a brand new array of the same size. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the threes and the fours. And like, if I know where the threes are in this array, I can put a three into this other array, this answer array, and a four immediately following it right away. Like, it's like that's the first thing I can do. So at first, like this wouldn't be anything at all. There'd be a three and a four here, and there would be nothing, nothing, and then a three and a four here. And I'll go back and put these other numbers in as I need to. I don't know, maybe, maybe that'll work. I don't know, let's give it a try. All right, so the first thing I need is, is an answer array. It's gonna be the same exact size as the original. All right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll just place all the threes and fours. I'll place the threes and fours, first and foremost. Okay, so, oof. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna loop through the array. Oops. Eyes less than nums.length. I'm not used to programming with this particular keyboard, so I'll probably have a lot of typos and things like that. Um, if it turns out that I'm looking at a three, so if nums at position i is a three, then I know exactly what I want to put in the answer array. I want to put a three in that exact same spot because it says I have to, and right after it, there's gonna be a four. Now here's the thing I'm concerned about real quick. I don't usually like doing I plus one because sometimes that makes me feel like I'm gonna go out of bounds. But let's look at the this last, I kind of read this to myself. Every three has a number after it that's not a three. And three appears in the array before 84. Okay, well, I feel like, hmm. Anyway, I think I'm gonna keep doing it this way. So I know that if I run into a three, it's not ever the last number in the array. That's kind of what it promises me. So I'm, I'm safe to do I plus one here. All right, so I have all the threes and fours placed now. So in this new array, basically I've, it's gonna be um, this three and this four will be in place and same with this three and this four. Now it's gonna be up to me to go loop through here and fill in these spots, right? So maybe what I need to do is I need one index to be crawling along here, one variable, like maybe I'll call it nums index, and if it's, and if it's not a three, 
and it's not a four, then I'm ready to place it into this array. Right, so I, get, I basically need one index that, whose job is to crawl through the original array, and then one index whose job it is is to be uh, crawling through the answer array. And I'll be kind of placing um, numbers from this one into this one, as long as they're not a three or a four, right? And also, I wanna make sure I don't place those numbers in the spots where the three and the fours already are. Let's see if the code helps clarify that idea. Man, it's so hard without a whiteboard. Like I totally miss being with you guys in person, being able to like draw pictures and stuff like that. All right, let's make a let's make a nums index. So this this the job of this variable is going to be to crawl through this array, and it will find numbers that aren't threes and fours, and it'll be ready to place them into to this spot. The thing is, I can't use the same variable because they're going to be in different positions. So I need like another variable, this answer index variable, to be like placing them um, into this array when like that are in the empty spots for this array. So let's let's try this. I'm going to use a while loop here. It kind of feels like the first thing I thought of is I need a while loop. And I guess I want to keep going as long as the answer index is less than um, ants.length. And just to be safe, yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so here's the deal. If I want the answer index to be like, I want it to start where there isn't a three or a four. So here's what I'm gonna do. If, if I run into, if my answer index, if my answer at this answer index at any point is ever pointing at a three, then I've actually, I actually wanna scoot over, right? This answer index should, should move. Like if I'm if my answer index is currently sitting on a three, I don't want it to be there. I'd rather have it scoot over like by by a couple actually. So I'll, I could say ants index plus equals two to get it over to where it's supposed to be, because I never want to overwrite these threes and fours that I work so hard at placing up here. Um, okay, so now I know that this kind of promises me that the answer index will be ready to um, fill in a spot. Now what do I do? Okay, after this. What I want to do, I want to see if in the original array, if my if my nums index is on a number that I'm ready to put into my new array. So I guess I'll go like this: if um, if the nums array at the nums index is not a three, and it also can't be a four. <laughs> is not a four. Huh, okay, interesting, okay. Is that right? Actually, I kinda wanna do the same thing up here, don't I? I actually wanna do the sa very similar thing, right? Actually, I'm gonna do the very a very similar thing. If my nums at uh, nums index is a three, or my nums at my nums index come on oh this keyboard this is like one of those gaming keyboards where the keys feel like they're like 10 feet tall like you have to push them down really far um, if it's a three or a four I want to scoot it I want to scoot it over so let's say nums index plus plus okay all right so here's the deal well here's what I can promise after these two clauses here um, that eventually by this point right here in the code we should have hmm, let's do we should have the nums index and the answer index and if I say else here then I know for sure that I don't have a three I'm in the right spot with my indexes so what I can do then is at this point, I could say answer array at answer index, because that's the correct spot, is going to get the value from nums array at nums index. And at this point, what I should do, once I've done that, I should increment each of those variables. So the answer index should go up by one, and the nums index should go up by one. So we're going to scoot them over. 
And then if they happen to land on threes or fours or anything else, I will make sure and correct that with these two things right here. Oh man, uh, this is a lot to wrap my head around. I'm looking at it and I don't know if I love this solution. This is why I kind of like kind of coming on here and trying these things live because I bet some of you are looking at it, this and going, what in the world are you doing? There's a way easier way to do this. That's where you have to write me and comment in the comments below. Um, and let me know the simplicity that I may be missing. Okay, let's take a look at this algorithm and I also need to return the answer, right? Let's see if this is good at all. So I'm gonna create a new array that's the same size. The first job I'm going to do is to loop through the nums array. And if I run into a three, I wanna place that three in the answer array at the same spot. The one right after that should be a four. I don't need to worry about going out of bounds because the instructions let me know that a three is never the last number in the array. Okay, the second job was then to go fill in the rest. I've got the threes and fours in place. So I'm gonna have a nums index whose job it is is to crawl along this one. I'm gonna have an answer index whose job is going to be to crawl along this one. I wanna make sure they're in the right spot. So if I ever have my finger on a three over here, I wanna scoot over by two, right? I never wanna overwrite a three or overwrite a four that I worked on putting there, okay? Otherwise, if that's not the case, if I kinda of do this else if here, to check to see if my my nums finger is ever on a three or on a four. And if it is, I just need to scoot it over by one, right? Like right here, I've already placed this three. I just need to, this one is ready now to be placed into this array. Now notice where this one ends up. This one right here actually ends up right here, right? So you can kind of see how I can't use the same index. I need two different indexes. The numbers end up switching spots. All right, so basically my left hand and my right hand, I might end up calling them that. If my left hand is not on a three and my right hand is not on a three, then I'm ready to place um, the number into the answer array. The number from the nums array goes into the answer array and their the indexes should be properly calibrated after this process right here. Once I place it, I wanna scoot over by one and scoot over by one. And eventually I'll run out, right? And this, this answer array will get to the end and we'll be done, and we'll return the answer. That feels pretty solid. Probably overlooking something, I always do. Let's see, let's see what we get here. That's a lot of green, it worked. Okay, um, I'm surprised that that worked. Usually I run into some kind of special tricky cases, but apparently that worked, even with empty arrays, apparently it was fine. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, let's call that a solution, and I'll, emphasize a solution. I don't feel like this is the best way. It doesn't feel great. It was a first instinct for me. Um, I wanna hear what you guys think. Who's got, that, who's got that nifty solution that's simple and makes everything easy? Uh, I wanna hear from you. Um, many of you are starting to realize that you are quite a bit smarter than me and you can show that off, right? You can write me, you can comment, uh, make your own video, post the link, whatever. Um, I hope you found this useful and enriching. Um, it's a pretty challenging problem. I can't imagine that AP would ever give anything quite this challenging, but maybe, I'm not sure. This would be on the, the upper end of the difficulty. Um, that went well though. Um, if you need further explanation, let me know and you can expect to hear back from me again, some more coding bat in the future. That's fix three, four. All right, you guys take care, take it easy. Have a good weekend. Talk to you later.